What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today's video we're going to be talking about the top 10 best legendary primary weapons for PvE. Today's list is going to be sorted just like the last video, just so you guys don't get confused. The weapons will be in order based on what type of weapon they are. Before we get started, I want to thank you all for the huge support we've been getting on the other videos, especially those of you who have subscribed. It really means a lot to me. We are so close to 3,000 subs, and I think we can get there before the end of the year. So if this video does help you all by the end of it, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. And also, I will be mentioning this throughout the video, but if you guys are having trouble or need help getting anything in Destiny, please consider joining my Discord. We have a growing community of players who are always down to run something with you. Please consider joining if you are interested. The link is in the description of this video, the description of my channel, and in the banner of my channel. Also, I tried to keep this list as meta-free as possible so you guys can run these weapons throughout your Destiny 2 career without having to worry about switching it up when this stasis meta ends. But I also did put some guns in here that are really good for the stasis meta but are also good just to have in general, so don't worry about having to switch those up after this episode ends. Anyways, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this list. Starting off with hand cannons, number one we have Volpecula. This is a stasis hand cannon and I mainly chose it because of the current stasis meta. However, this weapon is good on its own. The god roll that I would recommend grabbing for this one is hammer forge rifling for the barrel, accurized rounds for the magazine, encore for perk one, and headstone for perk two. And the masterwork that I would recommend for Volpecula is going to be reload speed. This will be perfect for a stasis build, especially this season with all the great artifact mods. I've had my Volpecula for years and the best roll I've gotten is outlaw explosive payload, so I'm still trying to find that roll specifically but i promise you if you do get this roll it'll be perfect for your builds and if you are interested in grabbing this weapon there's actually a couple ways you can obtain it number one dares of eternity has a chance to drop it number two zur is sometimes selling it and number three banshee is sometimes selling volpecula so make sure to look out for that every week Next up, we have the Apocal Integration Solar Hand Cannon. This weapon drops a static roll, so don't worry about trying to get the roll that you want. The reason this weapon is so good is because of the Origin Trait Nanotech Tracer Rockets. Landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro rocket. This is similar to Quicksilver Storm if you have that exotic auto rifle. And paired with Incandescent is honestly one of my favorite hand cannons in the game currently, so if this weapon interests you, you actually can get it from the Nia Muna Quest Parting the Veil after completing the main Lightfall story campaign. So if you do have access to Lightfall, I would recommend grabbing this one if you can. Next up, we have the Kinetic Hand Cannon, Warden's Law. Now, the reason I like Warden's Law is because it pairs really well with Lucky Pants on Hunter, especially when there is a Hand Cannon Artifact mod. But in general, Warden's Law is one of the best Hand Cannons in the game for in-game activities, so I would recommend grabbing it if you can. And the God Roll that I would recommend for Warden's Law is Polygon Rifling for your Barrel, Flared Magwell for your Magazine, Fourth Times a Charm or Perpetual Motion is really good for perk 1, and Vorpal Weapon or Frenzy depending on what you want to be using this weapon for. And for your Masterwork, I would recommend Reload Speed. Now if you're interested in Warden's Law, you can get it from Nightfalls when it's in the rotation, or you can just buy it from Zavala for 3 engrams. But if you have access to Grandmaster Nightfalls when it's in rotation, I would definitely recommend running that so you can get a guaranteed Warden's Law Adept. Next up, we have the Solar Hand Cannon Zali's Bane. Zali's Bane, in my opinion, is the best hand cannon currently available, just because you can pair up Explosive Payload and Incandescent. In my opinion, this is technically just a 140 version of Sunshot. Obviously, it doesn't have the exotic perks that Sunshot gives, but I would recommend it to those of you who are interested. Now, the God Roll that I would recommend for Zali's Bane is Corkscrew Rifling for your Barrel, Flared Magwell for your magazine, Explosive Payload for perk 1, and Incandescent for perk 2. Now the masterwork is completely up to you, but I honestly think that reload speed is better than stability, but again, that's just my opinion. Now if you're interested in Zali's Bane, you can get it from the King's Fall raid, which you can find in the Legends tab. Again, if you have a hard time running raids, I would definitely recommend joining my Discord. We have a lot of people on there who regularly do raids. Moving on to the next category, we have the Stasis Pulse Rifle Disparity. Now, Disparity is one of my favorite pulse rifles in general, but because of the stasis meta, it works really well with any stasis builds that you're trying to make. And the god roll that I would recommend for Disparity is Arrowhead Break for your barrel, Accurized Rounds for your magazine, Rapid Hit for perk 1, and Headstone for perk 2. And the masterwork, I would recommend Stability. Now, if you're interested in grabbing Disparity for yourself, the only known place I know 100% you can get it from is Zer. So I would definitely go and try and get one from Zur if you can. Next up, we have the Solar Auto Rifle Amit AR2. This is a great weapon and honestly one of my favorite auto rifles you can get right now and is great for in-game ad clear. The god roll I would recommend for Amit AR2 is Small Bore for the Barrel, Flared Magwell for the Magazine, Ambitious Assassin or Stats for All for Perk 1, and Incandescent or One for All for Perk 2. And for the Masterwork, I would recommend Range if you're going to be using Ambitious Assassin, but if you're going to be using One for All, then Reload Speed is going to be a better option. If you're interested in grabbing Amit, you can get it from the Foundry Resonance Quest, located at the Enclave. 
Next up, we have the Solar Auto Rifle No Hesitation. No Hesitation is a first of its kind support frame auto rifle which you can use to heal your allies and pairs great with the Speaker Sight Exotic Helmet for Warlock. If you like to play the support build or just want to keep your teammates alive, then this weapon is honestly just for you. The god roll that I would recommend for No Hesitation is Arrowhead Break for your barrel, Tactile Mag for your magazine, Physic for perk 1, and for perk 2, Circle of Life or Incandescent are great options, but if you just want to play more in that support build, then Circle of Life will be better for you. And for your masterwork, I would recommend Reload Speed. If you're interested in grabbing this weapon, you can get it from Pale Heart Engrams and the Pale Heart, but you will need access to the Final Shape DLC. Next up, we have the Strand Auto Rifle Rufus's Fury. Now, this auto rifle is really, really strong for in-game activities and pairs great with any Strand build that you're trying to create. And the god roll that I would recommend for Rufus's Fury is Arrowhead Break for your barrel, Ricochet Rounds for your magazine. For perk 1, I would recommend Reconstruction, but Demolitionist is also a good option. And for perk 2, Hatchling or Target Lock. And I would recommend a Range or Stability Masterwork for this one. If you're interested in Rufus's Fury, you can get it from the Root of Nightmares raid located on Neo Muna, which you will need the Lightfall DLC for. Next up, we have a fan favorite, the Ikelos SMG. This is an ARC SMG and is really good for in-game activities and has one of the most high damage outputs that an SMG can get. Now, the god roll I would recommend for Ikelos is Hammerforge Rifling for the barrel, Therafrons for the magazine, Feeding Frenzy for perk 1, and Volt Shot for perk 2. And for your masterwork, I would recommend range. This is one of the weapons where the god roll really isn't debated. This is the best possible roll you can get on the weapon. And remember, because of the jolt effects that Volt Shot gives you, you can stun overload champions. If you're interested in grabbing this weapon, make sure to check Banshee and Zer every week to see if they have one. Next up, we have the Solar SMG, the Callus Mini Tool, my favorite SMG in the game. This weapon is so much fun to use. And honestly, out of every weapon on this list, I would definitely recommend trying to get this one out of all of them. If you want an SMG that will stay with you for the rest of your Destiny 2 career, this is the one. The god roll that I would recommend for Callus Mini Tool is Hammerforge Rifling for the barrel, Accurized Round for the magazine, Unrelenting or Threat Detector for perk 1, I would recommend Threat Detector, and Incandescent for perk 2. And for your masterwork, it's really up to you, but in my opinion, range is going to be a better option than handling. If you're interested in grabbing this weapon, which you should be, then you can head over to the Legends tab and go down to the Exotic Missions and wait for the Presage Exotic Quest. The Exotic Missions rotate every week, so just wait for that to come out and you can farm it for your Callus Mini Tool. That's going to be the end of this list. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you are new. Again, I'm trying to get 3,000 subs before the end of the year. We are so close, and honestly, you subscribing can make it happen. also want to say that I post videos just like this one every week, so if you are interested in that, you can turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload. And with all that being said, I will see you all on the next video. Peace.